When we left you last week, we had just boarded a ferry headed back to Bali after an amazing week on Gili Trawangan. Next stop, Ubud. We're off to the monkey forest. Oh, it's by and me. It always seems so much bigger. We're going to get some Luwak coffee. Jenna Louis, it's just amazing, and so is the food. The best cooking class in all of Ubud. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? That was a really nice ferry. It wasn't bumpy, and we got to see tons of lightning. Next up, Ubud, and it is really dark. Lots of rain. This place is lovely, but we're gonna go eat, so we'll show it to you later. Yeah, we forgot to do that, so here's a couple pictures. But we did get to have dinner with this guy. He was cool. It's so great to be back in Ubud. We're off to see if Kutukani is still here. The favorite little lunch place in Ubud. Bummer, we didn't find her, so we're gonna go look in the market and see if Annie's there. You're friendly though. Oh, oh yeah, your oh. buddy's a dick. Oh. You're cool. Well, we still haven't found Annie. We're gonna keep looking. Oh, I'm disappointed. She's amazing. Now we're off to the monkey forest. Kate's favorite place to visit in Bali is the sacred monkey forest in Ubud. Wow, the difference is huge. It used to be just mom and pop. Now it looks like it's really corporate. The sacred monkey forest is more than just a home to these playful primates. The forest is also an important cultural and spiritual center with several ancient temples located within its bounds. It's home to over 700 Balinese long-tailed macaques, also known as the sacred monkeys of Bali. This is still fun. <laughs> oh, it's biting me. Bite, bite, bite in me. Do not let monkeys climb on you. These mischievous creatures are considered sacred by the local Hindu community, and it's believed that they protect the area from evil spirits. If sunglasses and water bottles are evil spirits, the monkeys are performing their duties admirably. This place is beautiful. The lush greenery, towering trees, and moss-covered stones give the area an otherworldly feel, making it easy to forget that you're still in the bustling heart of Ubud, Bali. Snakes! I am still amazed the second time around seeing the monkey forest. Oh, it's so much fun. Early the next morning. Good, Good morning. morning. We're excited. We are heading off to the Ulu Danu Baratan Temple. It's this one, Bali traffic. And they take credit cards. The Ulu Danu Baratan Temple is a significant landmark located in the highlands of Bali. Don't have the wide angle, can't get it in here, but we'll try. Ah, it's gorgeous up here. The iconic architecture and picturesque surroundings make it one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Bali. Built in the 17th century, this temple is dedicated to the goddess of the lake, Dui Danu. It always seems so much bigger when you see it on magazines. The temple's unique design features a multi-tiered roof and intricate carvings showcasing traditional Balinese architectural style. The temple is surrounded by Lake Baratan, which provides a stunning backdrop for visitors. Its unique architecture, cultural significance, and breathtaking scenery make it a truly unforgettable experience. She is the best mother ever. From the words of the 80s, I don't care how you get here, get here if you can. Ulu Danu Baratan is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Bali. Wow, really a beautiful sight. It's really large. For some reason, I just thought it had the temple in the water, but there's so much more around it. Oh, it's like 10 bucks for two. And the drive up here, <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. It's Absolutely. worth the drive. And they have animals and owls and bunnies. It's crazy. It was owls. Who knew they were real? <laughs> until they screamed at me. Who <laughs> knew they were real? <laughs> oh, the buddies are cute. And a crooked camera. <laughs> Gonna hit the road. Nestled in the heart of Bali's Tabanan Regency, the Jatalui Rice Terraces are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most stunning examples of traditional Balinese farming practices. And like everywhere else in Bali, you'll find friendly locals preparing copious amounts of delicious traditional food. 
Cascading down the sides of the Butukaru mountain range, the terraces are carefully sculpted to follow the contours of the land and form a striking pattern of green and gold. The rice paddies are irrigated by an ancient subak system that dates back to the 9th century, which provides water to the fields using a series of canals and weirs. This harmonious relationship between people and nature is truly awe-inspiring and a testament to the Balinese way of life. We're gonna get some luwak coffee. Cinnamon. This is a luwak or civic cat. When they're not being kept in a cage like this poor guy, they run around eating the very best coffee beans and pooping out what is supposed to be one of the best coffees in the world. Avocado coffee. This is this one, right? Special coffee we call cappuccino. I am about for the first time, probably the last, to try luwak poop coffee. It's a bit nutty. I was told I wouldn't probably like it. And they're wrong. I do. Thank you so much for visiting us. Fine. They treasure... Tra uh, we do treasure you, darling. Yeah, they treasure me. They pressured me. I'm going to try the Luwak coffee. This is the better coffee that I've had of the Luwak. Got a little something brown in your teeth. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. We love our friends so much, we're taking them poop coffee. Kate scoured the reviews and found what is supposed to be the best cooking class in all of Ubud. It's cooking with katoot, so. I think she's here. First stop is the local market to buy ingredients. Spices. This one for making soup or the chili. <laughs> This is snakeskin fruit. Oh, that's sweet. Looks like garlic. Oh, that's good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The market was really interesting. Never had seen incense grown naturally. It's pretty interesting. Am I doing this right? I don't know, but it looks It's just like putting in patios. Yeah, uh, one picture, one dollar. <laughs> Easy to cook, cooking banana. But now I'm going to try Christmas bean sauce because it's spicier. Spicier is the way to go. Hey, what's that sauce called? Boom Bali. Boom Bali. Bali. Somebody slapped me. This is my filming assistant while I'm out filming. That's a good The food you can put around of the rice. Everybody who wants to be on YouTube, look up and say hi. Hi. Ooh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> The tuna is what I'm looking forward to. Oh, the spiciness of the tuna. That's a winner. This was so much fun. The cooking, the people, everything. You need to do this when you come to Obud Bali. Keep drinking this coffee. Make the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>